friends, welcome back to Premier Finds. I hope that you are doing well. It's good to be back with you. First and foremost, Happy Women's Month. I salute each and every one of you for all of the contributions that you are doing, not only today, but every day. For being a great mom, for being a great aunt, a great worker, a great teacher, a great woman. I salute you. You. So with that in mind, I am going to share some things with you that you might have some interest in. We are all over the page today in terms of things. We have some handbags, we have shoes, we have some makeup, some athletic apparel. So grab a beverage or a light snack. Stay with me as we get going. Let's start with some makeup because I told you guys last week that I would try some things and get back with you. So based on, and I'll have that video tagged on the screen to see some of the finds that I went over a couple of weeks ago. So now I wanna circle back and show you what I have thoroughly enjoyed. First up, setting spray, you guys. Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. The airbrush flawless setting spray is all that and a bag of chips. I know that was antiquated, but it is great. I'd put her right up there with my Urban Decay. I really would. It's what I have on today. I just enjoy her makeup lasts for a very long time. I could go 12 hours and it still looks good. I told you guys I was wondering how I would feel about it. It's a keeper. It is a premier find. Some other things I've been enjoying. This Natasha Denona mini palette. Love, love, love. I'm wearing it today. I like that it goes for a very, it facilitates a day look, but when you go back in for a little extra pigment on the shades, it also sets up nicely for an evening look. Love this. This is my first Natasha Denona product. It is very pigmented with very little fallout. So I did enjoy that and I've been wearing that this week and it is definitely a keeper. And this is the nude one. Retails for about $25 and I picked this up I think at Ulta. The other thing I've been enjoying, I picked up, this is I think I offered or I presented this in an earlier video a couple of months ago. Went back to the NARS. This lipstick, it is in the shade Dolce Vita. Enjoying it very much, very moisturizing. I'll swatch that for you a little bit. So it's kind of sheer and I don't know if you'll pick it up. Very nice hydrating. You can't put on too much. I just enjoy it. What I did today was that I went in with Spice. Max Spice Lip Liner, and then I just went in with Dolce Vita from NARS. So I do like this, and I think it retails for about 35 bucks. I picked this up in a duo from the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale last summer. That's what I did, and I picked up the uh, Dolce Vita and the Orgasm, and both of those shades are really nice. And then the way I've been enjoying this as a very nice oil to put on your hair that doesn't weigh it down. They do a very nice job. There's no scent to this. It's very light. I like the sheen and I just really focus specifically on the ends, but this is a very nice product, not too heavy for what it's worth. I can still snap my fingers and I'm not wasting any product. So, been enjoying those things as well. One more thing, because it is National Women's Month and we deal with gray hair, don't we ladies? Some of us have to deal with it in our early 20s. Others wait until their 40s and 50s and they have to deal with that demon. If it's a demon, let me retract that. There are some women out there who are rocking the gray strands, who are wearing it and wearing it well. So are, if you are embracing your gray hair, do you? Some of you are doing a very good job with that. For those of us that are not quite there yet and we are still fighting, <laughs> let me show you a do and a don't. Or a do but something much better. For many years, I used this for the, the gray that just, the stubborn grays that would peek up here and there and it wasn't time for a, for me to see my stylist, I would do this, but I would didn't care for the fact that it did get a little sticky. I found this one and I'm enjoying it much better. It is the Hue Color Touch Up Spray in the light brown and I really like it because of the way this little port is here. It really gets right to where you need it, whereas this, just kind of shoots out. This is more specific in where the product is gonna lay. And it does not stain, it dries quickly. It is temporary and it'll stay until you wash your hair. So I do enjoy this and I don't get the sticky residue on my hair. 
So there you are. Right along the lines of it being National Women's Month, I wanna go over a few things for us just to enjoy for ourselves and, and indulge. We are all very busy. And one of the things that I have found that helps me in the evening, bath bombs. Ladies, in order for us to do what we need to do, we have to relax, we have to take care of ourselves, and we have to treat ourselves. And you can find bath bombs at different points, price points that is. Some of these came from, believe it or not, Whole Foods. Some of these came from Target. The one I have been enjoying very much is the froth bomb, an avocado <laughs> with the little seed there. I think it's the cutest thing ever. This one was about, I think, $8 from Whole Foods. They don't all have to cost that much, but if you are looking for a way just to decompress and wine isn't your thing and chocolate isn't your thing, drop this in your bath and just take a moment for you. You've worked all day, you've been to t-ball, you took the kids to soccer, you've done an online class because you're working on an advanced degree and you just need a moment. This can be your aha moment. I've seen them range anywhere from three bucks all the way up to 33, just depending on what you're dealing with. And for those of you who say, oh, Michelle, I don't have a bathtub. I have a beautiful shower. They make some where you can just drop in the floor of your shower and the steam from your shower activates the ingredients in the bomb. Make sure that you try some of those to reward yourself. So earlier this week, I had been hearing all of the rage about Russian manicures. I took the plunge. Here we are. Forgive the bodacious jewelry. I love big pieces of jewelry, but this is the Russian manicure. Now, I told you guys last week that I did my own nails and I saved $72. And because I saved that $72, I went with a Russian manicure and then I went with what I think she said was the cat eye gel polish or what have you. Friends, a Russian manicure. Let me tell you, it is intense and it is thorough. A Russian manicure gets it all gone. I went from a friend's daughter who referred me to this little place and boy, they did a good job. A Russian manicure is much different from a typical manicure in that I think they go around the nail bed very intensely and they get way under the skin, deep down into the cuticle and it is a very, very clean look. They are an art at their craft. So I did that this week and I love that. It also retailed for about $95 when we were all said and done, okay? And because some of us are, you know, cutting back here and there, a beautiful alternative, and I did this myself last week, so I know it can be done. Guys, don't sleep on your Kiss faux nails. It's okay, $12. $95, get in where you fit in. There's nothing wrong with KISS. Let me tell you something, sometimes it's not about the money, it's about the time. Guys, I sat on my kahunas for two hours, for two hours. Time is more precious than money sometimes. It about drove me crazy, I had to talk myself down. I can do this in 15 to 20 minutes and it costs $15. The uh, fake nails or the press-on nails, you can find them from anywhere from, I don't know, six bucks up to 20, depending on the shape and the scale of the nail. Some of them are very high end. This one was about $15. So get in where you fit in. I will say this, it's not going to be as clean as a Russian manicure, but it can get you through. And unless you grab someone's hand, and look up close, you cannot tell. So, keep your nails together, be it a Russian manicure or your press on. Now I wanna go over some things that I found. Where do I start? I think I'll start with shoes. Okay, and I'm going to start with what I love, which is an athletic shoe. This is not a running shoe. This is, I guess you could run in it, you could walk in it. It's just a cute shoe from Kurt Geiger. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Here it is, is that not beautiful? I just thought it would be lovely for spring. Look at the back of it. Cute amount of sparkle. We have some sateen, satin sateen going on on both sides. And then you have Kurt Geiger's name printed there, Kurt Geiger of London. Guys, this shoe feels incredible. When I saw it in the store, I thought, uh, no, I'm not going for it. That can't be comfortable. Guys, it is a gem. Cushion from the foot sole, of course, all the way up the heel, in the toe bed. I love the suede here. It's a beautiful shoe. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Each shoe comes with, okay, beautiful. 
I don't, and I'm sure you've heard of Kurt Geiger, make some very fine handbags as well. I had my eye on a crossbody, but we are trying to be mindful of our spending, okay? And also, the Kurt Geiger is on the heel, has some sparkle on it as well. Retails for $175. I know that's not cheap. I think I got this $89 or something. $90, $90. So, you know, I did save there. Mr. Kurt Geiger, beautiful shoe. I cannot wait to wear it. And what I enjoy about it, going into spring and summer, I think it'll be cute with some lighter colors. And check this out, guys. So, if you took made the investment in the shoe, Maybe you wanna go and look on Amazon and put together some nice athletic pieces to wear with it at a better price point. So it all doesn't have to be high end, but yeah, this is considered a luxury athletic shoe. I don't think I'm running in that shoe. I think this is gonna be meeting the girls for coffee and running errands, but it is cute. And casual work day as well. One is good, two is better is still out on this pair. I don't know. Tell me if I should take it back. I don't know. Isn't it cute? So this is the black and white Kurt Geiger. It's the same shoe. I love so much about it. Again, I love that it has the black sateen. I love that, believe it or not, the fact that it has black strings. That, that just speaks to me. I like that. I'm gonna pull out the other shoe as a comparison. So on this one, you have the caramel colored uh, rubber in the back. This one is all black. Kurt Geiger is there, of course you can't see it. I guess it's a nod to quiet luxury, if you will, if you know, you know kind of thing. And it has it there as well. You see it and know it. It doesn't have to be apparent to me and flashy. It doesn't have to be that. I just think it's sharp. I think it's very clean. This, more of an athletic shoe. I'm gonna get some good mileage on this bad boy. I can't wait to wear it. It's the Nike Amex Runner, Comfort Soul, all of that. Great for my true athletic wear, getting in the miles. This is more of a just cutesy shoe, okay? Same colors. This is just a little more luxe and I love it. I love it so, so much. I don't think that's going back, but I serve as an usher in my church and I'm always in black heels. So I am always in the market for black pumps. And so I came across a lot. It's one of my favorite things to do is to usher in church. I love serving. I love, love, love serving. So when I see accessories that make me feel good in doing something that I love doing, service unto him, it makes me feel really good. In order for us to serve, we must wear black pumps. So we must have black pumps. I will start with a pair from Vince Camuto. Ladies and gentlemen, would you check out that funky heel? Would you check out that funky heel? Come on now. You know that that is a cute shoe. I had to have it. I had to have it. I can't wait to wear them. I am a little concerned about the front though. It is a little narrow, but they were on sale and I have to try. I have a large foot. I wear an 11, so when I see something in an 11, I grab it because there's usually only one or two. So this is by Vince Camuto. It's about a three inch heel. I love it. It feels very soft in the footbed. One thing that I do often because I stand for about two hours when I serve on Sunday morning straight. I stand for about two hours straight. I put in an additional liner, some padding, a little gel thing, and that helps me if I need that in the shoe. So this is one from Vince Camuto. This next pair is from Naturalizer, and I love this one because I love that bed right here, that little rise there. It gives me some additional height, and when you have that little lift there, you can go with a higher heel because you're getting so much support at the base. So this one is by Naturalizer. So you know this sucker is gonna be comfortable. Vince Camuto is more of a fashion pump, which offers some comfortability. Naturalizer, they hang their hat on comfort. So I, this shoe feels amazing. I'm not going to do anything to this shoe. This one's a little funky. It's by Charles and David. Oh, price point, just so that you know, the Naturalizer was 89 okay, on sale for 75 It makes some nice stuff too. Now, this one's a little different, but I like it. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you what I enjoy about this shoe. I like this shoe with a pant. You could wear this shoe with a 
winter black suit, I think, at church if you need it to. It is a little different. I like it. I like that contrast between the black and the wooden heel. It's a very strong shoe. You could rock this with a pair of wide leg denim jeans and a crisp white blouse. You could do this with a nice black slack. You could do this with a black skirt and tights. I love that. That is by Charles and David. This shoe feels amazing and it retails for $130 and I got that on sale as well. Very sturdy shoe. It's just a beautiful party shoe. I love it so much. Is that not beautiful? This is also by Vince Camuto. It's in the color Milk. And this one retails for about $140 and I got this one on sale I think for about $70. So ladies and gentlemen, Please understand, it's not as if you just go out and say, I'm going to go and buy eight pairs of shoes today. When you can get shoes that are on sale, that's when you stock up. I don't tend to go out on a random Saturday and pick up seven pairs of shoes. And some of these shoes I have had for seven months. I just decided to share them because I love to talk and I have some things and I want to talk about them. So please don't think that I'm just wheeling and dealing around here. I want to make a video. I'm going to go and buy eight pairs of shoes. That's not the case. I've had some of these shoes for a minute or two. But isn't that beautiful? Let me tell you why I enjoy this shoe. Because of the platform. Even though it's not a large platform, I love that that's going to give me some lift. This is what helps you walk and dance all night. If I didn't have this, I wouldn't have the lift or, and or support in the footbed. When you are going to be at a wedding or at a prom or whatever, you want to make sure this part of your foot feels comfortable or you're going to be, you're going to feel miserable. You're gonna look fantabulous, but you're gonna feel miserable. So that is why I enjoy this shoe very much. Uh, I love the lift. It's neutral in my mind, and I love that sparkle on it. When I do get a party shoe, I love to look for a little lift. I think this one, if I break my liner, I'm gonna cry. I will say this, if I had on press on nails, all four of them would have gone. The liner survived. You can't tell I like a little Vince Camuto. In case you're interested, this is a San Marco. Do you guys remember the San Marco bracelets? Gosh, circa 1990 maybe. Vince Camuto, love it. Love that wooden heel. It's gonna be fun in the summer. You can even wear that in the spring. And let me tell you another reason why I enjoy that. Would you look at that footbed? Can you see in the back that gold? I love that. I love that, says Vince Camuto, but I love that mirrored finish on the forward part of the heel. Comes up high on the ankle. I have this shoe in black and I had to do a wait list for this shade. It is a gold but it is a soft gold, which lends itself to some neutrality in your outfit. But I really do like that. Both buckles are adjustable, which is great for me because I have big feet and wide ankles. It's Women's Month, let's stand in our truth. It is what it is, okay? And so I'm glad that these straps are adjustable. That was about, they usually run about 70 bucks on sale. Now, I'm gonna tell you this. Look at this, guys. This is a little thinner. This is something to think about. It's thin on this part, but I feel more padding here. Again, when they're on sale and you have a large foot, you gotta do what you gotta do. Another thing that I do is that I buy a lot at the end of the season. Part of spending wisely is to know not just what to buy, but when. So right now is a great time to pick up your sweaters, your coats, your gloves, Case in point, another premier find. This is the best time. This is when I buy all of my leather gloves. I have a beautiful orange pair of leather gloves that retailed for $160. I got them on sale for $40. Orange leather gloves. Now these aren't leather, but beautiful. Got these from Nordstrom. Beautiful blue. Leather here and on, the, on that little portion in the back and then leather again right there. A very true navy blue and I wear it with a denim coat that I got at the end of the season. Okay, I'll do it next week, but I promise I'll bring these back. But my point is, I ended up paying $25 for these gloves. They wanted $125 initially. So this is the time of year that you do that. Another thing that I picked up, I just love these when I'm driving. 
you see that? I love those and I have them in white as well. I ended up paying just $23 for them, but they wanted $70 for these. Are you kidding me? And this isn't even real fur, it's faux fur, but I like it because you, your hands are warm, but you still see your jewelry and your nails if that's important to you. So get your premier finds at a good point by shopping at the end of the season or what they consider off season. It would not be a premier find without me offering something from the lens of fitness. And I'm going to try this on for you. No, that's not fitness. Cashmere animal print sweater. It's not fitness. 100% cashmere. Feels beautiful. Nice hand. End of the season. $200 sweater. Picked it up for $35. End of the season. Go to those clearance racks. They have some good stuff there. One of my favorite things so I have been on an aloe kick. Got a gift card at Christmas from Athleta. This is what I went with. It's a onesie. And I'm going to try it on for you. They have this in a green, black, and a gray. It is the Just Decor Salutation Bodysuit. This is the way it comes in the back. I love that it comes up high. I love the little emblem there, which kind of snatches you in a little bit. I love that it has two pockets on either side. It does not flatten the tush either. The padding is already in so that you have some modesty there. Okay, people don't know when you're cold. I love that and I love that the padding is there to stay. There is nothing worse than to have padding in a garment and it shifts on you and if it shifts to the left or right then you don't have the modesty you thought you had so I really like that it already comes with the pack already in there. And I love that this is like an aubergine color. Last week I enjoyed a very much chocolate brown set. I'm liking these richer colors. They're very different and this retails for $130. And the outfit of the day. Today I am going with a pair of amazing jeans from Cabbie, C-A-B-I. These jeans are amazing. I love, my favorite cut of a jean is a boot cut jean. These do not disappoint. I have laundered them several times. They come out pristine. I love the shading. They don't smush the rear. I they are so incredibly soft. I am 5'10", and I am in, I think, the tall, and these are a four, and I even have some room in the waist, so they are true to size. Again, it's by a company called Cabby. I love the versatility of the jean, and then I just put it with this LV signature belt, and I told you guys about that Trousse 28. There's no reason I can't go out for lunch with the gals, which I'm going to do today shortly, and the top. I love that. I can't link that because it's old. Can't remember where it's from, but this is the outfit of the day. And I'm going to have this jean linked from Cabby. I will tell you this, if you have any interest, this jean will sell out. I'm gonna put the name of my stylist down below so that you can reach out to her. My only disappointment about this jean is that it does not come in other shades. Absolutely love it. And it retails for about 140. Guys, premium denim can reach up to five, six a grand. 140 is nothing for a boot cut jean that offers some versatility. And I'll have some pictures within the video with it having a different look. Enjoy your day. Listen, if you are enjoying this content, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe. Until next time, have a great day and happy Women's Month.